Hey guys, and I'm back here to bring you an eyebrow tutorial. Um, I know I look like I'm ready for jungle warfare right now, but I swear I'm just trying to lay back these edges, okay? All right, so as you can see, my brows are not the thickest. I like to slightly overdraw them to make them appear a little bit thicker, you know what I'm saying? So um, what I'm gonna use today is the NYX Precision Brow Pencil, and this is an espresso. And I'm just gonna slightly overdraw my brows, and I'm gonna actually start with the spoolie side. So I'm gonna first comb out my brows. All right, now I'm gonna take the pencil side and I'm gonna slightly overdraw just to make them appear thicker. And when I get to the front of the brow, I like to turn this one because this, this pencil is a little bit easier to do so because if you can see, it's like a flat pencil. So this makes it a lot easier to get to the front of the brow and make it look as natural as possible. So I'm gonna take it and flip it like this. And then I'm going to just go along the front of the brow very, very lightly because you want this to look as natural as possible. And then what you're gonna do is take the spoolie side of the same, or whatever pencil you're using, and you go ahead and brush it through. So as you can see, it makes a nice gradient so that you don't have like such a harsh beginning of your brow. Like I literally can't stand that. <laughs> okay, so now that we have our base down, I'm going to be going over that with a powder to kind of just help make it look a little bit more natural. So I'm gonna take the Brow Powder Duo by Anastasia, and this is in Ebony. And I'm just gonna take a little flat angled brush and I'm going to go over my brows everywhere I applied that pencil. For the front of the brow, I'm gonna do the same technique, which is with a very, very light hand, just brushing that powder through the front. Almost like creating a shadow versus actually applying the powder directly into the brow hairs. So now I'm going to clean up my brows. Now, I don't usually like to use a lot of concealer. I used to in the past, but I find that it makes it makes you more prone to getting that halo around your eyebrow, if you know what I mean. It just looks so weird when you take pictures and just in general, it just looks funny. So I'm gonna use minimal, minimal concealer today. So today I'm gonna be using the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and this is in caramel, 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 whichever. And I'm just gonna take a little tiny concealer brush, something that's really precise. Just take a little bit right here off of the brush, and I'm just going mainly underneath right where that arch is, and that's where I really want the precision. Everywhere else is gonna be little to no concealer at all, so. So just right there where that arch is. And I just very lightly bring it out to the edge. And very lightly. And just blend it in as much as you can. Okay. 
I'm just cleaning up the front of the brow right underneath here. And it's just gonna help make it look really crisp without it looking too drawn on. So as you can see, I just did the concealer on the bottom of my brow and not on the top because I find that if you use concealer on the top of your brows, most of the time you're gonna get that halo kind of weird glow around your eyebrows and it just doesn't look good. So I try to avoid using concealer on the top of my brows as much as possible. However, if I do find myself having to touch up, I just take a little bit of concealer, which is my exact same skin tone, and I just put a little bit right here on the outer edge. And that's gonna really help to clean up the brow without having that halo around your eye or around your eyebrow. So that's kind of my technique with that. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. All we're gonna do is go through the brows with a little bit of the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. And I'm gonna take some of this. I've literally had this for like a year and a half and I've, it's still like, there's still so much left, you guys. This is like my favorite brow gel ever. It's so good. For the final step, I'm just gonna take a little fluffy ankle brush and I'm going to take, let's see, what kind of highlighter do I wanna use today? Hmm, I'm gonna take Bubbly and this is from the, oh, I don't even wanna show my palette because it's so embarrassing. But this is from the Anastasia Glow Kit and this is Bubbly. I'm gonna take that right there and I'm just going to apply it right here. Now the trick with using highlighter under your brow, do not bring it all the way to the end of the brow. Don't do that. Cause that's going to make your eyes look drawn down. It's gonna look like they're pulled down. What you wanna do is take the highlighter and just put it right here. Just like that. All right, so I'm just gonna take my little duo fiber brush. It had a little bit of eyeshadow left on it. And I'm just going to blend that highlighter into my eyeshadow. Say hi, Zoe. Say hi. Hi, YouTube. Oh, my baby. She's not interested, guys. All right, you guys, this is it for the eyebrow tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it was helpful. Um, definitely let me know if you wanna see any more tutorials from me because I will be happy to do so. But yeah, you guys, until next time, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video.